Katrina was the pinnacle. It's always rough. And you try to prep and you try to put people out along the coast. So, but you never can do everything. You know, in some cases we were removing homes from streets so emergency crews could get back in there and make assessment. The engineers were the effort that helped the municipal agencies or the other task force elements actually get back into those, those um, streets. Katrina was so overwhelming uh, for everyone. Um, even the folks that came down to help. We had a, a flood of troops coming in from uh, National Guard units in our neighboring states. We had a lot of EMACs, and that's other guards from other states came in, out of thousands, and helped us uh, reset conditions all over South Louisiana. The National Guard Bureau went out and solicited support and response from, from every state and all the territories they all came. Uh, the one thing I will tell you, though, about the Superdome is, you know, I heard all the about the rapes and the killings and child abductions and all. I never saw that. Don't, don't be wrong, it was hot, it was stressful, it was nasty. It was probably the worst environment I've ever been in. Uh, but it was not unlawful. Uh, we should have done a better job of telling that story while it was happening. There was just a flood of media uh, in Baton Rouge. The media was, was not getting into the area and they weren't getting an accurate reporting a picture of what was going on. It, you know, it looked like the story was just running, running away and, and uh, we'd never did get, we lost the battle, I guess, is what I'm saying. And um, of course, as, we, as we're doing all of this in the aftermath of the hurricane, we have another hurricane that's, that's barreling straight toward Louisiana. Hurricane Rita came through, the city of New Orleans re-flooded again. The area that was, you know, needing the most attention was Oakdale, Oakdale and the, the Jennings area. A tremendous amount of wind damage. It was it was un, it was really incredibly. But you know we were fortunate we didn't have the water. The area as a whole worked very well together, and probably within about five six months, things were actually normal and operating. Oakdale restored itself um, pretty quickly. You know the mobility corridors is what we helped with initially, just because the, the civilian equipment was you know, overwhelmed. So, you know I think that's maybe why kind of forgotten, the community kind of came together, did what they had to do and recover.